Good morning guys, I thought I would share my autumn morning routine, as you can see it was a rainy one, it was quite miserable so we had a little snuggle as we woke up, catching up this morning before Chris heads to work, then I wake myself up properly and have a glass of water, I have to have a glass of water as soon as I wake up, it's just a must to hydrate. And then after Bailey's been on his walk with Chris, he comes bounding on the bed and it's just the best way to start the day. He has a little bit of a play and a cuddle with me and then I finally get up and I turn off my Lumi alarm clock. I love this because it has the light and then I start to sort the bedroom out. So fluffing up the cushions, sorting out the blankets on this chair where I was reading last night, opening up the blinds to let the light in and cleaning up the bedside tables. And this is the book I've been reading recently, The Couple Next Door. I love Shari Le Penna, she's such a good author. I read a lot of her books. And then it's time to start to make the bed. Of course, this has to be the first task of the day. I cannot start the day without the bed being properly made. And I love this Lenore decreaser. It is a game changer and makes your sheets smell so fresh. So starting to put the cushions on and dress the bed. And I've actually had these new ones, which are so beautiful from Village Interiors. Once the bed is made, just doing those final touches. And then of course I have to clean up Chris's side of the bed as well. He always makes a mess and has so many cups and glasses. Then started to open up the rest of the blinds just to let all of the light in and the rain had finally cleared up. Head to the bathroom and just freshen up my face and put my dressing gown on as it's getting a little bit chillier in the mornings. I come down and as you can see the rain had gone and the autumn sun was coming out so the light was so pretty in the living room. Always just kind of readjust everything, fluff up the cushions and just so the sofa's all neat and tidy again. And then also just going around the room with the hoover and whatever I'm else needs doing that morning just to make sure it's fresh for the day. Then once everything's neat and tidy, you have to light a candle. It's just a must, just to fill out the room with one of my favourite scents. This is the Absolute Linen from Zara Home. And then just putting everything away from the night before, from dinner, putting our wine glasses, our cutlery and everything like that and start to make my morning coffee. This is my favourite morning ritual. I actually get excited for my coffee in the morning. And of course, it has to be an oak malt latte. Our coffee machine is actually the Delonghi one. It's actually really good. It's got the milk frother, and as you can see, it makes the coffee so nice and creamy and frothy. Look at that foam. I then like to sit and just have my coffee for a bit and just gather my thoughts. It actually went a little bit darker, so I put the lamps on and just have a moment for myself before I start the day. I always find it's good for me just to have these calm moments in the morning before I start my busier days and just catching up on everything. I also love to do my five minute journal and I've also started journaling in this manifesting notebook. It's just a nice positive way to start the day, what I'm grateful for and putting my affirmations out for the day. And then just carrying on with those usual chores like putting the washing on. I love these Lenore Unstoppables. It makes everything smells so lush and just starting to make my breakfast. So I'm gonna be a basic bitch here and I'm having avocado toast and fried egg. So whilst the egg is frying, let's have my vitamins. I have my multivitamin gummies, the Detox and Debloat GS Health. I've spoken about this on my Instagram. They have really helped me. I like to have it morning with my breakfast and then later in the day. So I'm just taking my vitamins. I also like to have these ginger shots. They just are really good for inflammatory as well. Then I start to do Bailey's breakfast. Doesn't look great, but as you can see, he loves it. He has the button up box and then just starting to clear up afterwards. Then get my gym set out because I'm going to reform Pilates today. I've really been enjoying doing reformer Pilates recently. I think it's just a great way to do a little bit more low impact workouts as I usually used to be such a high impact girl. So my Adenola sets, my Adenola socks and just a comfy jacket to travel in and then I'll put on my Uggs. And this is my set, I will link it down below. I always wear Adenola sets, they're just so buttery and soft. I love them and off I go to my class. So head home after my class and jump straight in the shower. I have been using Kerastos hair shampoo and conditioner now for so long. I've gone through a few different ones. I was using the repair ones and now I'm using the Absolute Blonde. And then I also love this Moroccan oil body shower. It smells delicious and I lather it all over my body. And then once I'm out of the shower, I also use the Moroccan oil body lotion. Again, it smells such a dream and it's just so hydrating on the skin. And then of course it goes on to my skincare. So Caudalie Vino Pure, this is 
is the toner and it really helps with just kind of like those breakout areas it has salicylic acid in really been loving these attacher products at the minute as well this is the brightening serum and of course the cordley if you know perfect this is always and will forever be in my skincare routine so good for dark spots and as you can see i'm just kind of draining all of that puffiness out of my face i feel like my eyes need a little bit of extra tlc this morning so just putting on the nip and fab masks i love these they're so hydrating And again, I've been loving this Tatcha Dewy Moisturising Cream. It comes with this little applicator. It is so cute. It is expensive, but it is just such a good moisturiser. And of course, not forgetting my SPF. This is the Cordly 50 Plus, and I just dab this into my skin to finish. And then I've been using the Nuvo Lash and Brow Serum. I literally lathered this on morning and night over my brows and also obviously my lashes. I just recently had LVL. My skincare and everything else is done. I'm just putting on a comfy set because I'm working from home today. Just got this lovely under the stories jumper that I've been living in recently and just setting the tone in the office, putting on the candles, turning on the lamps because it's quite a gloomy day today and just making a nice environment for me to work. So I usually just start off by catching up on emails and just planning out my day. I always use the Carry and Co planners. I find these are so good to just kind of break down the top three tasks you need to do, break it down by the hour, and then you can also list the other tasks that need doing that day, catching up on emails, social media, and everything else I have to do within my job. And that is it for my morning routine, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.